Hello and welcome to today's session on Piaget's cognitive development theory. In this session, we'll discuss Piaget's two learning processes that explain how people, and in particular children, learn new things, and Piaget's four stages of cognitive development. The psychologist Jean Piaget has suggested that children gain new knowledge through two processes, assimilation and accommodation. He believed that in early childhood, children assimilate new information to the knowledge they already have. As children come across new experiences and continue to interpret the information they discover, they adapt the experience so that it fits in with their pre-existing beliefs and ideas. According to Piaget, children should actively engage with their environment so as to gain knowledge of the world, and in order to do this, they pass through different cognitive stages whereby they make use of their schema, pre-existing understanding. These schemas are useful because they allow children to make sense of the world around them. Let me give you an example. Let's consider how a child learns about different types of animals, such as a dog. He or she has a schema of a dog. It has four legs, a tail, and is furry. Therefore, in his or her mind, every four-legged animal of that description is a dog unless the child is informed otherwise. Now imagine the child has only ever seen a husky and one day sees a golden retriever. The child tries to interpret the information and fit it into his or her current schema of categorizing, finally declaring the animal is also a dog. Thus, the child assimilates the information, having been a little in doubt at first. Later on, the child discovers another animal, say a cat. It has a tail, four legs, and is furry too. So the child will probably slot the animal into the schema he or she already has and will naturally assume that it is a dog. When the parents explain that it is not a dog, the child is put into a state of mental confusion. He or she now has to modify the framework and accommodate and add new details to the information in order to create a new schema for cats. Once this is done, the child returns to state of mental clarity. Therefore, when a child encounters something that doesn't fit into their current schemas, their mental confusion can drive their learning process. This means that accommodation and assimilation complement each other in the learning process and play a vital role in each stage of cognitive development. Let us now take a look at the development stages of Piaget's theory. Piaget believed that children pass through four stages in the construct of knowledge. These are categorized as sensory motor, pre-operational, concrete operational, and formal operational stages. The sensory motor stage between 0 to 2 years of age is when children rely on senses and movement to gather information about the world around them. They learn through touching, looking and listening. They realize that their actions can make things happen in the world around them. At the pre-operational stage of development, from the ages of 2 to 7 years old, children start to develop their mental operations, engage in pretend play, and begin to make sense of symbols to interpret objects. They begin to develop language and thinking using words and pictures. When children reach the ages of 7 to 11 years, they are in the concrete operational stage of development and can perform concrete operations and learn about conservation. They start to understand more abstract ideas such as depth, height, and width. They learn to reason about concrete ideas. They can form generalizations from specific examples. The formal operational stage at the age of 12 and upward 
is when children make a connection between abstract concepts and the consequences of actions. They also learn to develop moral reasoning and understand social modes of behavior and rules. At this stage, children have a greater understanding of abstract thoughts. They are better at synthesizing information. The outside world in terms of moral and ethical issues becomes increasingly important. To sum up, if the task is made more appropriate, it will make more sense to the child and results will be more reliable. Therefore, what drives children's learning is the fact that they need to be actively engaged in their environment and be ready for the task. If you would like to explore more on any of the topics discussed, click on the links provided at the end of this unit. As always, remember to observe what is happening in your classes and be a reflective practitioner.